You guys welcome back to King Earls and Luis Alberto Lopez has beaten Joey Gonzalez by unanimous decision. Uh, the scorecards read out 118 to 110, 117 to 111 and 116 to 112. Yeah, I, I think 116 to 112 is about fair to be fair. I think Lopez definitely won the fight 100%. Gonzalez did well, but I think the big issue today with Gonzalez is that he started to slow down so much towards the end of the round. And I feel like if he didn't, he could have possibly been able to pick up a few more and made it a bit more closer. But I do think that Lopez was always going to win that fight no matter what, though. He was the better boxer. And I feel like the important thing for Lopez is he was able to pick up, you know, fairly the early rounds. And I do think... I, I mean, look, it was close. I, I, I wrote my scorecard down. We'll go through it now. So I gave round one to Lopez... 10-9, I thought Lopez started well on the back foot, but Gonzalez, but Gonzalez was coming forward well. You could make an argument for him, but again, Lopez kind of ended that round a lot better, uh, to be fair. So I did give it to Lopez. Lopez was boxing well on the back foot throughout the fight as well. Uh, so yeah, round one went to Lopez. Round two, I gave to Lopez. Lopez was showing some good defense, getting the jab going well, and you know, bringing out the uppercut as well. It was good stuff to see from Lopez in round two. Round three, I gave to Lopez again, 10-9. Lopez started off well, showing his good defense again, landing some good combinations, getting them going. He was up in the pace a bit more from then. But then around four, Gonzalez, I think, was able to take the round. He landed definitely the more eye-catching shots and was coming forward really well with a good threat. But Lopez was um, using the jab well, but I did give it to Gonzalez. He just came forward well and landed some good shots to be fair uh which were more eye catching than the ones lopez was landing in round four so i gave round four to gonzalez round five i gave to lopez got the jab going well caught gonzalez a few times when he was coming in but gonzalez was really good with his tight guard though to be fair to him but lopez was able to catch him well and got his head work going well but yeah round five i gave to lopez round six i think yeah 10 nine to gonzalez Gonzalez came full well, catching Lopez with a few good lead hooks and um, was landing, uh, I think, yeah, he landed uh, the right straights a good couple of times in round six. So, yeah, I thought round six was a pretty good dominant round from, Gon, uh, from Gonzalez. Round seven, I also gained, gave to Gonzalez. Gonzalez was coming for a well, putting the pressure on and, you know, was... Uh, catching a few on the gloves when he was blocking and then was able to come up and land a few good hooks uh, and was well and Gonzalez was working the body quite well I feel like his body Gonzalez his body work is pretty underrated round eight I gave to Lopez Lopez was doing well showing off the footwork again he was pretty hard to hit in this round getting the jab going from out a few combinations jumping in kind of with that uh, right uh, with that uh, left hook a few times and sorry the the, the lead uh, the lead took a few times, um, Lopez, in that round. So, yeah, round A, I thought, was good. He was pretty hard to hit in this round. Uh, and Gonzalez was taking a bit of damage, uh, to be fair. Round 9, I did, gay, I did give to Gonzalez. Gonzalez was just landing the better shots. And, you know, he did have a decent high punch volume, but Lopez was doing well being able to get back into it at the end of the round. But overall, I think Gonzalez did enough to be able to take that uh, round, in my opinion. And now, oh wait, no, I didn't get rid of my notes. I thought I did. Anyway, uh, that was round nine. I just read out round um, round ten. Lopez, Lopez was throwing quite a few good combos. Started to up the pace a bit. Pretty hard to hit in this round. Lopez started to go to the body a bit, and he started to mix it up quite a bit. And Lopez was able to take the end of round ten, in my opinion, and that's kind of why I stick to him. Gonzalez wasn't throwing enough punches throughout this round and Lopez was kind of just starting to be able to outwork Gonzalez in my opinion. Round 11 I again gave to Lopez, just outworked him really and landed the more eye catching shots. Round 12 Lopez landing better combinations and Lopez took that round. So yeah, I think Lopez overall was able to just outwork Gonzalez to be fair. But Gonzalez was always in the fight. There were never any rounds where someone absolutely properly clearly won uh to be fair they're both landing some good shots and gonzalez was always in the fight but i do think that lopez kind of just showed 
that yeah, he he is like a level above Gonzalez. Uh, to be fair, not loads of levels above. Like Gonzalez showed tonight that he was on a good level and on a, and you know I feel like he made it a closer fight than people expected it to be. I mean, will Lopez? Be happy with his performance after that? I don't know. He did say in this post-fight interview that he thought he won the fight by a decent mile, which, I mean, yeah, you could say he did, to be fair. But, you know, the rounds were very competitive. It was a good, fun, competitive fight to watch. And we were entertained. I was very, very blame entertained watching that fight, to be fair. It was a good one. Uh, and yeah, but I, I, I do think that Lopez did get caught with a few shots they did need to get hit with, to be fair. Uh, should have just stayed a bit more defensively sound, but I feel like uh, it was obviously good from Lopez, not fully engaging on the inside with Gonzalez, because obviously, as we discovered probably in the build up, it wouldn't have been a good idea. But Lopez was boxing well. I feel like he does need to sharpen up the, his jab a little bit more, though. I mean, his jab is decent, but it does need to sharpen it up a bit more when he does go on and want to possibly compete with Lee Wood. That's the fight we want to see. But yeah, overall, I feel like it wasn't an awful performance by Lopez. He did show some good signs defensively. Offensively, he did as well. He's got a good lead to it. Uh, and, you know, he's got a good punch volume and he can go for the 12 rounds and outwork you for out. But... Yeah, uh, and, you know, he's very good at, he's got good boxing IQ and he's able to pick up later on in the round. And, you know, Lopez knows how to swerve the judges into his favour. That's what he was able to do tonight. So, yeah, good performance by him. And hopefully we get to see the Lopez versus Leewood fight next, which I think is a really interesting one, to be honest with you. We'll talk about it probably a bit more after the Leewood Warrington fight. But, yeah, good solid fight tonight. I enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and good win for Lopez. Thanks for watching the video. Okay, I'll speak to you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.